My name is Poultry Man, and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. And now today, I need to head straight over to my pet chicken that I adopted, Sally. Because you actually have to look after it, you've got to put a bit of effort in, you've got to like clean it out and stuff. So that's where we're heading straight away to take care of that, before we crack on with some other errands that we need to do today. It looks like there's a couple of boxes around here now. Whoa, looks like all of them are taken up. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, so all the chickens have been adopted. And my one is in here. Sally, liberated by a poultry man. And there, there she is. I don't know where all the other chickens have gone. Uh, it turns out that I messed up last time I was here. And I put a couple of slabs here and here. And she got out. But fortunately, stress has brought her back. So I just need to do a little bit of cleaning up. It looks, it still looks really nice here, actually. Oh, no, there is, there's, Sally's got one friend. Okay, so I need to... Whoa! Oh, I didn't bring any shulker boxes. And I didn't bring any quartz. You know, if I'm going to do this, I really should think ahead. I've messed up. Okay, I'll, I'll be back in a second with the things that I actually need. In fact, why don't I go ahead and just put this sand straight in to Grian's shop here to try and sell it immediately. That will help him out a massive amount. Okay, I've got everything that I need, and Sally has aged one cycle. That means she's now one years old. I can now put in the stack of nether quartz that I need to feed her, and I can take out all of this from the litter tray. So at the moment, it's cost me 40 diamonds, and I have had that many stacks of sand. So that's still over a diamond per stack of sand, but if Sally here survives for just two or three more years, then I'll get my money's worth. If Sally here survives eight years, I'll have made a proper profit on this whole thing. And it will be worth making this this little thing. Oh, wait, I totally thought that was Sally. This is Sally. Sally doesn't seem to move very much. Okay, no, never mind. You're okay. All right, let's head back now. Now that we've taken care of Sally, there's something else that we need to do. Oh, look at this. This is so sad. Of course we're going to make some donations. Of course we are. We wouldn't leave someone out to dry. Poultry man's got your back, Iskow. Don't you worry. I'm a true hero on this server, and I will supply you with eggs. But oh, ho-ho! The tables have turned. And now to head over to the festive district, where things are getting built. This was empty last time I was here. I mean, uh, last time Green told me about it. Now, where is the secret Santa? This must be it. Welcome to the Secret Santa. Place names in here. Uh, Secret Santa guide. You know what? I should probably read this. Okay, so let's put one in for me. There we are. And I might put one in for my buddy Grian as well. Okay, so in we go. One for Grian. And what the... What? I must have renamed the same bit of paper, so I've kind of got some levels. There we go. Right. Green and Poultry Man. There we go. And I guess we will both have to draw our names in the next episode to see who we get. And also we can take an optional Naughty or Nice. Which is going to be interesting because if I get someone that's been naughty, they're getting a whole bunch of coal. I can tell you that. And that is a Hero's Day's... Oh. Ow. I was going to say that's a Hero's Job Done. I need to put feather falling on these or something, because these are deadly. Now, last episode, some crazy stuff was going down. And I got pranked by Ren and Doc, right? I got pranked really good. Like, they got me really good. It's super funny. However, it turns out that the book here wasn't written by them. Okay, so I was very wrong in assuming that it was meant for me, which makes sense, right? Because the, the prank wasn't even at my base. You would have thought if they were going to prank me, they would have at least done it here. So, it turns out that maybe they did do it but didn't record it, but someone wrote a book and led me there and changed the signs at Cleo's base. So instead of just guessing if it was Cleo, because I saw so many comments saying, it's Cleo, Cleo changed it. I'm just going to go and ask her straight up whether she was behind this or not. I think that's probably the best way. Maybe she's at her base somewhere. Let's see if I can get her to come over here wherever she is. Right, here you are, Cleo. Thanks for joining me. So... You're very welcome. <laughs> I think you know what I'm going to ask, don't you? I think I, I actually do know what you're going to ask. Because 
I would blame me from that as well. I've had lots of comments. You've been accused in the comments. I Look, know. in my last episode, someone wrote me a book in my base that said to come here. Now, I actually missed this sign completely. I went straight <laughs> over here and I went and spanned the key and fell for it, right? Uh, okay. I, it wasn't right. until afterwards that I saw this. and it, it, Well, this proves that it was whoever did this, it was meant for me. But we now know that Doc and... Oh, that, oh that's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we now know that <laughs> Doc and Ren were the ones that made this, right? And yes. And Impulse. And Impulse? And Impulse. Did you not know it was Impulse? No, no I... Impulse too. Yeah, that, that that makes sense because of the scale of this thing. This is definitely a three-man job. I was given this book that led me here, but why would they put the prank in your base if it was meant exactly. for me? Which, it, in hindsight, was really stupid of me. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you saying that you didn't change the sign? You didn't I write did the book? I did not change the sign. If I was going to change a sign, I would do it on camera and I would admit to it because it's hilarious. Okay. So... <laughs> No, this was not me. Well, I've been keeping an eye out and I haven't seen anyone else take credit for this. No, me neither. So I, you, I want to clear my name. I'm not being funny though, but you could be lying to me right now. I don't trust oh, I anyone could. anymore. <laughs> I don't trust I anyone I'm anymore. I'm not. I, I'm not. I could be. I, I could very well be lying to you, but I'm not. Um, you just, you either have to trust me or you don't. And I have done a little prank in the meantime though. Against Ren and... Uh, Doc and... No, against impulse. You must know that I've already done something to. Uh, yes, Ren. I have heard rumours. Um, I've, so... I've seen what you've done, which is great, by the way. So Absolutely. that kind of that actually covers all the bases, then. <laughs> it does. It, that that covers all three. Yeah, I dragged Tango along, and he helped me prank the stock exchange. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got Joe and Jev on my side. Uh, is that death? Do I? I think yeah, I you hear, hear death. Yeah. Oh yeah, I hear death. Oh, they're your death. Okay, so right, let me get this straight. Let me just get the story straight because this, I'm not gonna lie, I, I'm not following all of the the chess pieces that are in play right now. <laughs> I was dragged into this because false used the prank item with me, and then I've been, I I I've been like an unwilling participant in all this, and then I've been bamboozled using this thing, and now I'm. But I can't let things slide. I could have just like let it go, but I didn't. I mean, you're welcome to come and see what we've done to Impulse, just to. Uh... Yeah, no, that's a good idea. Can I can I see what you've done? Yeah, Without... absolutely. Come along. I'll, With... I'll, I need to detrap it, but that's fine. Yes. So this is the the prank, right? This is it. Yeah, this is this is the uh, the Hall of Atonement for Impulse, and of course we want to divest him of his possessions because it's funnier that way. Do you want to take this apart so that you can show me what you've done? I don't want to trigger anything in here. Yeah, no problem. Is it safe to go in? It, it is safe to go in now. Oh, it's dark. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the attempted murder room. Murder is wrong. Okay. Well, I don't want to show too much of this because I obviously, <laughs> I obviously want to see what impulse is going to do. But you've you've put him on. So I want to. See, yeah, I'm not going to read look, the signs, but if you, you look back here, if you look back here, yeah, there are dispensers. And we're going to have Curse of Binding items applied to his oh, outfit. I've, I've taken the Curse of Bindings out. Oh, so that's so. why you need him to part with his stuff. I got yeah. it. Yeah. All right. So I won't I won't spoil any more because we want to see exactly how Impulse is going to react to all this. So I'm not going to spoil any more of that than I already did. But I, I understand now you're sending him on a, a story, <laughs> a story of words to yes <laughs> joe's words specifically <laughs> joe hill's those words always... <laughs> those are always slightly ent more entertaining than my words i am i'm very intrigued to see how this goes do you think he's gonna feel bad is that the whole point to it em emotionally uh, yeah let's send him on a guilt trip but also it's just to make him paranoid sort of like <laughs> when is the death gonna occur it's gonna occur here no here no but, here if i touch this button is think something good to but you don't even but you don't even get him in the end I get him in this soul, which is the main place. No, but Cleo, you don't understand. It's not enough. He killed me, okay? What I'm saying <laughs> is, I know Joe might not do this, but I, I will. All I'm okay, saying well... is, all I'm saying is, we get a bucket of lava and we put it here and he won't be able to get out. <laughs>
if he really does take off all his items before he goes in, he'll be safe and he will be free of all the curse of binding stuff. But if he doesn't take, if he does take all his stuff, he's going to lose all of his mm. diamond gear. He has to trust you when he goes in. What do you think? I'm in. I'm in. And I'm not going to tell the other two either. <laughs> it's so easy as well. Like you just put one lava here because he'll go straight up that water elevator and it'll be, it'll be done. You're a genius at this. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Let's go grab. Actually, I've actually got a bucket here. I just need to find some lava. So is everything now done? Everything is now in place. It's all set. Are you okay with this? I am. Impulse will 100% die. He will 100% die. Joe will not be okay with this. But you know what Joe doesn't know doesn't hurt him. Yet. You are right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we need oh. to not tell Joe about this at all. But he's, no. still, he's still culpable because he did this as well. <laughs> he did the rest of it. <laughs> This is perfect. I've just I've just taken his linguistic prank and just made it so crude. <laughs> <laughs> we get both best of both worlds now. <laughs> we definitely we get a linguistic do. Linguistic prank, and they also die. <laughs> well, I I feel like I'm getting getting even as well. But you've got a really nice ghost ship now, which is awesome. But I know they, that's they, that's mine now. <laughs> They totally would have got you if someone didn't, like, lure me in, which I still suspect. Oh. I, I'm not... I don't know who it is. I'm kind of waiting for some videos to come out to see if anyone takes credit for it. They haven't left a note. They haven't left a sign, and it's not appeared in any video. So hmm. I think we might be waiting a while. So we don't know. Don't but know. anyway, let's, uh, let's get out of here before Impulse comes online. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Cleo. There is so much going on now. So just by chance, I didn't see that Impulse had done it. Now, now that I think about it, there was a mob that had Impulse on it, but I because I didn't get the head from the the zombie that it that dropped, I've got Ren and Doc's head in here. Like I've got a little like uh, chest of evidence here. Like I got the treasure room key, I got Doc's head, and I got Ren's head and a book and quill. That was. You know, I got all of that stuff, but I didn't pick up Impulse's head, so I didn't even think to, to get him. So Cleo knew that I'd already got the Ren and Doc, so she went after Impulse, which says to me that she's potentially an ally and probably wasn't responsible. Hear me out. So if Cleo did indeed put the book there, why would she then go and prank Impulse? Because she would have just tried to totally push it off me. Would it be possible to invite such a noble gentleman to a cuppa? Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, Iskal now wants to invite me for a cup of tea, apparently, which is very unlike Iskal. So I'm or immediately suspicious. I am so paranoid of everyone now. I have no idea what's going on. Okay, well, let's, let's go meet up. Okay, here I am at Iskal's base, and as usual, there's mobs everywhere. Hello, Grian. <laughs> Hello, what are you wearing? Hello, sir. Oh, nothing special. I figured if we have an occasion like this, I'd better put on my best clothes. I hadn't shaven in days and all that. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> no, not nothing at all. Okay, so so I, I figured such a such a noble gentleman as yourself yeah. I just want to invite you for for a little bit of a, a an English tradition. Shall Af we say? Afternoon English... tea. Afternoon tea. Yes, yes. Afternoon tea. Exactly. It sounds much better <laughs> when you say it. <laughs> afternoon tea. Yes, absolutely. So right over here, I've actually prepared for us. Oh my a, goodness. A little bit of a meeting, shall we say? Why have you got a <laughs> everyone's head here? Yeah, th this this is a long story, but there there is a lot of shenanigans going on at the moment, and a man needs to know his allegiance. So I'm just keeping track. You got just a map track. of the entire server. Yep, I'm gonna make sure I know where things are going down. Dude, my base looks so down. cool. <laughs> it looks like a crosshair or like a target. It looks really cool. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Mumbo's right, looks like a. Mini Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Anyway, so you've got a uh, tea and yes. toast. Yeah, so I, I figured I'd invite you for. for Iskal, have you ever had and... afternoon tea before? I, I I in Sweden we we are we 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 no. <clears throat> we <laughs> because you don't, we, you, we don't you, you you serve scones and jam, not toast and tea. <laughs> 
Oh, okay. Well, excuse my ignorance for the for the tea and toast, but I, you know. Did you put a tea bag I, I, in I this, thought... dude? It looks it looks incredibly like water. I've learned from my English experience that English people usually like it a little bit light side, so there may not be too much of the tea baggage in there. That was definitely but water. See, you, you know what's interesting with tea and toast, though? What? Because I've learned as I grew up that this is, this is an English thing, the tea and toast. Tea and toast, how would you abbreviate tea and toast, Green? T-T? T and T. Mm. Oh. T and T. T and T. There you go. <laughs> There you go. Now, see, here is my... Now we're touching on an on an issue that happened. I, I was right? wondering where this was going. <laughs> right. It's a little bit far-fetched, but I had to get your attention. And, you know, there's no better way of getting an English person's attention than with some tea. and you With know, some tea and tea, especially this English man. Exactly. <laughs> there you go. There you, there you go. Now we're talking. So <clears throat> you asked about the allegiance of heads and things and you asked about the map now i want you to come over here down where my base is and take a close look at at the sandy village that you <laughs> helped me build um yeah there's a big uh like pimples on and a big white square <laughs> right next to exactly. it exactly <laughs> right so i'll be honest i mapped this entire thing out today and i did i was so like caught up in mapping it out that i didn't pay attention to, to the fact that my castle it's completely vanished and replaced with a cake. Oh, is that what it, is that what it is? Oh, it's some cake, oh, yeah. some Minecraft cake. Oh my goodness. Some Minecraft cake. Okay, yeah. wait. So that cuz there's so many things going on now. Who did that? So I checked it out and it turns out the full symmetry. Yeah. She pranked me. Which is fair enough. That's why she's upside down. Oh. Now, <laughs> she's now evil to me. You okay. See? But you but pranked her. She I pranked her, so it's kind of fair enough. She's still, you know, she's still, she's still evil. Okay. Right? I mean, I mean, only good fun. But then, th there was a sign from Mr. Rendog as well, which makes no sense to me. Like I, you know, me and Rendog, we we're bros, man. Yeah, but you know, Cleo changed the sign. You know how that went down. Cleo changed the sign from your prank from Iskal yes. to Ren. So Cleo did that. And then Ren got together with Impulse and Doc to prank Cleo. This is all really complicated. I am... It is. That's I... why I did this room for myself, so I could try and, like, stay on top of this thing. But what? by the things you're saying, like, Doc would be would be with Ren here. Ren is anti... I mean, this is so confusing. Falls and Ren seems to have made an alliance to make a giant cake, which, you know, at first sight, looking at the map, I was <laughs> like, that's kind of interesting. But let's let's get up there. Let's, let, let me take it. Okay. <laughs> you know, when you invited me for tea, I was like, what is going on here? I was like, I was not into this at all. Like, what is this? And then you made me say tea and tea. And then I was like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> you see, I invited you for tea and tea. You know, no scones and jam. Wait, do you <laughs> want me to blow this up? Yeah, you see, this is made out of diorite. And to be honest with you, like, <laughs> even if my castle is still here, I want to show you something. Come, come down here first before you make conclusions. Okay. This is, this is insane, dude. So I was like, okay, is my castle inside here? Look at this. This is solid. Oh, they <laughs> solid. didn't. Oh, my goodness. It's, <laughs> not, it's, it's not just a shell. It's a oh, full-on solid. solid. Is your castle completely gone no i think i think i hit the wall of the cat yeah look at this this is where I oh earlier. my goodness dude but, you know but not enough there not enough there look here they fill <laughs> the <castle. laughs> <laughs> they're insane dude well i can't say that you don't deserve this and <laughs> i actually saw the chicken earlier and all the poop was gone they've clearly reused the poop that you oh, used... they've used the same... But wait a minute. The chicken in a green costume did poop fancy poop because there was white concrete powder in it. Okay, so they've just this used the diorite. Fancy. They've just used the diorite. Wait, what do these signs say? Uh, the red velvet cake in a demon costume by Ren and... <laughs> you see, this is the next thing because I made like an art piece out of mine and they've done the same. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> But okay, so yeah, I I really really cannot like stand this. And then I just saw you. It, it was funny because I checked this out, and you log on to the server, and I'm like, eh, 
Hey, Green likes TNT. So, okay, TNT. I was right. You want me to get rid of this for you. I'm thinking you should get rid of this. But you know, yes. if I get rid of this, I can't guarantee the safety of your castle. I would say the castle is tainted forever. They okay. put too much bird poop on top of it. And Why do you I never hate... want to touch? Why do you hate di diorite so much? It's just a block. It's bird poop, dude. Look at it. Look, yeah. Look at this. I mean, it's better now, but but you played with the old textures. Okay. Yeah. But still, it's like, is it is it worth blowing up this entire thing just because you hate diorite? Let me ask you the question like this instead. Okay. Would you stare into bird poop in real life and say, it's just bird poop, man, whatever. Okay, but would I look into bird poop and say, this is so ugly, I need to blow it up with explosives? Yes. Yeah, no, totally. no, yeah. I wouldn't. Yeah. yeah, I would. I totally, I think that's fair. I think that's, that's common. Wait, are you telling me that you, <laughs> you out of all people, you wouldn't want to blow this up? No, no, no. What I'm saying is I wouldn't blow up bird poop with TNT. It's a, it's totally unnecessary. Okay, but yeah, but this thing, yeah, I would totally, I, I, I totally blow up this cake. 100, 100%. <laughs> Good. Good. This is going to be glorious. Dude. Uh, but about uh, payment, uh, it's a service. Oh, yeah. T uh, TNT yes, doesn't come so... cheap. Exactly. So, so now we go back to the, to the little... To the little meeting, to my, to my, I, I put on fancy clothes for you, um, <clears throat> and and I made you tea and toast. Are you saying that's not enough? Wait, you want me to do this for free? It's not for free, really. I'm not a suit guy. I really hate this suit. I'm <laughs> in pain. <laughs> you know that suit looks a little bit like diorite. It. Oh my god. <laughs> it has its similarities. <laughs> I shall never wear it again. I shall never <laughs> wear it again. <laughs> I hated that white suit. Dude, I, what happened to yeah. your hair? Well, let's not talk about the hair. It's something that occurs to men when they get older, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, I've, I've made up my mind. So I will blow this up for you pro bono. You don't, no charge. But you owe me, okay? You owe me, you owe me one. I don't know who I can trust anymore, and I need some, I need some friends in this whole thing because I don't know who I can trust. Like you, I don't have a wall of of people, but I don't know what's going on much anymore. I kind of know some events, but I don't know everything. Okay, so I'll blow this Same up. Same here. But you owe me. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. I owe you. That's scary to accept, by the way. But I owe you. <laughs> also, I totally would have done that for free as well. So I'll go grab some TNT. Oh, got, got him. Got <laughs> him. <laughs> Are you ready for this? I've got my TNT. Always ready. Okay. For tea and toast. Tea and toast. I love it. This is and and you're gr you, you're great at this. Like you're not gonna damage like my village and stuff for you. <clears> I mean, <throat> uh, I there's no guarantees. Um. No there's cares. there's no guarantees, it. refunds, or otherwise terms and conditions. You it 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 you get what you get, and that's it. Okay. Uh, as you can see, there's some complicated redstone here. We do this professionally around here. Okay, this is not a Mickey Mouse operation. All right, it's all ready to go. Okay. Now, say goodbye do, to the bird do you poop. Do the honors, or shall I? Oh, did, may, can you I? may. Is that? No nope, kidding. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> this is gonna be good though. This is gonna be good. Oh. Bruh. <laughs> that was feeble. Oh, that's the worst. That's no, the no. Worst thing Turn around. No, no, go back. Go back. Go back. Do you see? The problem is, I was trying to be conservative. None of that. None of that anymore. No, we're gonna put down every bit of TNT that I have. Yep, it's going. Get off! No, it's going. No! No! Oh! Oh what? no! Oh my <laughs> frames! Oh. oh my goodness, it's glorious! That was a beautiful there explosion. There we go. Though. That's more like it. It's <laughs> Dude, okay, wait, come here. Look at, look into my eyes. Look into my eyes. Look into my eyes. Your yeah. castle was gone before I blew it up. Yeah.
I know. I know. Don't blame the demolition man. It was blame the pranksters. I will. I will. <laughs> and hey, I, I owe yeah. you one. Seriously, this, I couldn't have done this That's a lot of TNT. You. That's like three stacks of TNT I mean, in there. I'm telling you, Diorite is yeah, evil, like it, it's, man. It, Diorite is an evil it, Even three stacks of TNT couldn't get rid of all this. Well, that was uh, a good job well done, but, you know, this is a bit of a... This is a bit of a masterpiece, I think, when it comes down to it. So I think we need to rename this piece. <laughs> I, um, it's not exactly a... <laughs> this isn't exactly an arty name, but it's true. I wouldn't eat this cake if I were you. By Grian. <laughs> uh, what a mess. What an absolute mess. But I think... I need to go back to my base and start working on some stuff because this is absolutely insane. There's just so much going on now. So to try and keep up to date, maybe I should make like a big wall of trying to keep up to date. I know that Doc and Ren and Impulse are out to get me. Or at least I think they are. Cleo is possibly an ally because she didn't actually want to lead me into her prank. But she did prank Impulse because I pranked Doc and Ren. Man, this is so confusing. Maybe we need to make some sort of big conspiracy wall thing. But it looks like Iskal could be a friend in all this since he now owes me. And he came to me to get that destroyed. Looks like Cleo could be a friend. And, well, of course, Tango is a friend because he helped me do the heist in the first place. This looks like things could get really out of hand. Or maybe they already have, and I have not realized it yet. But that doesn't mean that we can't keep working on our base. There's still lots to do here. The general consensus from my last video was to put some greenery in the base because it's, it does actually look futuristic. Um, however, there was actually quite a lot of people that said no, even though the majority said yes. There was quite a lot that said no, so I thought this section up here in particular, it doesn't actually have anything in it, and it's not actually a great size to put anything in it either. So what if this was like my relaxing room where I made some real greenery, like an aviary in here, I could get some parrots in here, some uh, like a fish pond or something, I could make this really calming in here, and this could be my like relaxation room. It's just an idea, that way I could have the greenery without making it look weird on the rest of the- I used the rocket! Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Unfortunately, that is all we have time for in today's episode. Hopefully we'll get a bit more actual work done and stop getting distracted by this silly war going on. And it is actually time to draw the center. I know earlier I said we'd do it in next episode, but it's actually been a day or two, so I can actually draw it out now. I, yeah, I drew myself. Great. Thanks, guys. Let's try again. What? I, I, let's try again. Okay. Nope. I, oh, I've messed it up. All right. So I have Iskal. And has Iskal been naughty or nice? Oh, <laughs> he's, he's been a naughty, this girl's been a naughty man. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, so that's it from me, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. We have interrupted Cleo's prank a little bit. I think we've improved it a little bit. So we've actually got even with Impulse, who actually went and killed me. We still don't know who led me into that trap. We also went and helped Iskal clear up his trap, and I've drawn my secret Santa as well. Things are getting extraordinarily out of hand and difficult to follow, but it's been really, really fun so far, and I can't wait to see where this all goes. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye!